Good morning everyone, today we will talk about how to calculate ground beam reinforcement. Welcome back to today's episode. Today we will talk about how to calculate ground beam reinforcement. Let's look at the picture here. And as we can see, the worker here is trying to prepare the ground beam before casting. This is a bar reinforcement. In the illustrations, it shows that there are top bar here in blue and their bottom bar in green and also they got a pan from the bar we got a pan okay. and they are being linked with the stirrups and all these stirrups they are hooks that join and tighten up the stirrups this illustration show we have to know the diameters of the reinforcement bar and this is how we identify the diameter the diameter is in D Next, we will talk about the hook. Okay, let's look at the hook here. The hook looks like this in actual. And the function of the hook is to tighten up the stirrups. This is the third thing that we have to know before we come into the calculations, the concrete cover. The function of concrete cover in reinforcement concrete is the least distance between the surface of embedded reinforcement and the outer surface of the concrete. The functions of the concrete cover is to protect the steel reinforcement bars from environmental effect to prevent their corrosion. Next, it also can provide thermal insulation which protect the reinforcement bar from fire and lastly it gives reinforcing bar sufficient embedding to enable them to stress without slipping okay. so we can see here this is the concrete cover distance one okay two okay three four okay these are all the distance of the concrete cover so let's take this as an example for today's discussions, we got a ground beam of 8000 mm and we got a top bar of 3Y12, we got a bottom bar of 4Y12, and the height of the ground beam is 550. And the width of the ground beam is actually 300 mm. Okay, so this is the height, this is the width, and this is the reinforcement bar on the top beam, and this is the reinforcement bar on the bottom beam. And also R8 at 110 spacing are the stirrups here okay. the spacing between each stirrups is 110 so they put 110 here okay. they are using R8 mouse steel at 8mm diameter so things to measure for today we have to look at the length of the main bar this is the first thing that we will be measuring followed by the number of stirrups followed by the length of stirrups so these are the three things that we will be measuring today so let's look at the length of main bar so the length of main bar the first thing we have to consider is the top bar first okay the top bar so we got A which is the band we got the B which is the length and we got C, which is the length. Uh, sorry, which is the band also. So we got A. How we identify A? The first thing we do is we take the height of beam minus the concrete 
cover minus the concrete cover okay because the beam there is a concrete cover here okay and there's a concrete cover here so we must take the height which is 550 in the given info here 550mm minus both concrete cover so the height if you convert to meter is 0 0.55 meter minus the concrete cover is given at 40 okay, concrete cover is given here 40 mm so minus 0 0.04 meter minus 0 0.04 meter which is actually 0 0.47 meter this is the length for A so for B for B the length is actually 8 meter from here okay from here to here which is actually 8 meters so 8 meters minus 0.04m minus 0.04m which is the concrete cover at this side and also the concrete cover at this side okay so the answer for B is 7.92 meter for C the length for C is actually similar with the length for A so C equal to A which is actually 0 0.47 meter so the total length for 112 mm diameter main bar at top okay for 112 mm diameter main bar which is the top bar okay this is the top bar we will calculate the bottom one later after this so for top bar is 0 0.47 meter plus 7.92 meter plus 0 0.47 meter which is actually 8.86 meter okay and from the drawing given okay we got three y we got three y so we have to find 3 so the total length for y 12 diameter bar for top bar is actually 3 times 8.86 m which is equivalent to 26.58 meter so this is for the top bar let's go to the bottom bar okay so same thing here we will be taking a equal to height of beam okay because the beam height is here okay so the height of the beam 
minus concrete cover minus concrete cover so both concrete cover here top and bottom so which is actually 0 0.55 and okay 0 0.55 and is the height minus 0.04 m minus 0.04 m which is the concrete cover for the A so we will get 0.47 meter for B 8 meters the length of B is actually 8 meters okay same goes to this okay the length of b is actually a meter here so 8 meters minus 0.04 m minus 0.04 m which are the concrete cover at both sides this side okay this side and this side okay and the answer is 7.92 m 7.92 meter for B so for C Z is actually A and the length for C is similar with A which is actually 0 0.47 m okay so the total length for one 12 mm diameters main bar at bottom mm diameters main bar for bottom the answer is 0 0.47 meters plus 7.92 meters plus 0 0.47 meters which is 8.86 meters okay and for bottom bars let's look at the given information for bottom bar we got 4y okay 4y trough so 4y means 4 numbers so total Length for Y12 diameter bar for bottom bar four numbers four times 8.86 m which is the defined point for four meter. So this is the length for bottom main bar so next we will be calculating number of stirrups okay we will be calculating number of stirrups the first thing we have to consider is the beam length okay the beam length okay the beam length is actually from here to here okay and this part is actually the column stump this part is actually the column stump so beam length equal to 8.00 meter minus column stump so 8.00 meters minus two part of column stump one two so two times 0 0.30 meter 0 0.3 is here okay is here. 0 0.3 is here this distance the column stump width so the answer will be 
7.40 meters. So this is the beam length. So number of stirrups. The number of stirrups is actually beam length dividing the center of center of 110 here okay plus 1 okay for the first part so the beam length is actually 3 7.40 meters Dividing the center of center spacing between the stirrups is 110 is given here and you have to plus one so that you consider the first stirrups. Okay, so the answer is 67.27 plus one and you will get 68.27 which is equivalent to 69 numbers okay so this is the number of zeros 69 numbers okay later we will use this number to calculate the total length of the zeros needed so 69 we put it here first so next we will talk about the length of zeros the first thing we have to do when calculating length of stirrups is to identify the length of one stirrup first and the stirrups is 8mm diameters okay, R8 so 8mm diameters so the first thing we have to do and consider is to identify the beam width okay. we got two side okay one side two side okay so times two plus the beam height times two also one side two side Okay, so the beam width is 300 mm 0 0.30 meters times 2 plus the beam height is 550mm which is 0 0.55 meter times 2 so we will get Mm, 1.70 meters so this is the length of one stirrups but we have to consider to less the concrete cover the concrete cover we got each side for this length okay we have to minus this one two for this length for the vertical length here we have to minus 3 4 for the horizontal length at top 5 6 and 7 and 8 so concrete cover we got 8 concrete cover so we got 8 times 0 0.04 meter the concrete cover is 0 0.04 okay so the answer is 0.32 meters so the next thing we have to add the hook here the hook so we have to add hook of 24d 24d 24 times 8 mm so we have to convert to 24 times 0 0.008 meter and we will get 0 0.192 meters so this is at hook so the actual length of the stirrups can we write it here so the actual length of the stirrups is 
one steer up is 1.7 ohm meters minus 0.32 meters plus 0.192 meters and we'll get the actual length of 1.57 meter so the total length of stirrups we got 69 numbers which we calculated earlier yeah 69 numbers number of stirrups we got 69 times one stirrup length of 1.57 meters we will get 108.33 meters so let's conclude the conclusions that we get from these calculations for y 12 the width is actually 0 0.888 kg per meter so we got the total width for the top bar is actually 26.58 meter times 0 0.888 kg per meter 23.60 kg is the answer where can we get this 26.58 we calculated earlier so let's look at it here so this is where we get our 26.58 meter for the top part length. Okay. And for the bottom bar, we'll get 30. 5.44 meter times 0 0.888 kg per meter so let's look at the 35.44 meters where do we get it we get it earlier here so this is where we get our length of bottom bar so 35.44 m times 0 0.888 kg per meter we will get 31.47 kg okay for r8 the width is 0 0.395 kg per meter total weight for r8 stirrup bar is 108.33 meter times 0 0.395 kg per meter so which is 42.79 kg so 108.33 meter we get it earlier we get it here and times the width of the R8 steel of 0 0.395 kg per meter so we get 42.79 kg so this is the conclusions that we get for R12 steel the top bar we need 23.6 kg the bottom bar we need 31.47 kg and the stirrups R8 bar we need 42.79 kg okay that's all for today if you like my video please do like and subscribe my channel and there are more video will be uploaded soon see you bye